Well, there's not a person watching this story out of Las Vegas who isn't really anxious to know why it happened. And unfortunately, we still don't know that at this hour. But there is a lot of detail we do know, and it's being collected assiduously by the Wall Street Journal's Jason Bellini. He joins us tonight with new details on the background of the shooting suspect. Hey, Jason. Hi, Tucker. So now we're four nights after the Las Vegas massacre, and the mystery is still really deep on what his motives were, but we are learning more details about his life. For example, the journal spoke to people familiar with Paddock's gambling, and they said he almost exclusively played video poker, and he was apparently quite good at it. And so good, in fact, that at least one casino cut down on the perks they offered him. His brother Eric said that he approached video poker like a job. He didn't drink too much, mostly asking for water and smoothies. And these same casino workers also say that he was a really intensely private man. But that said, he met his girlfriend while she was working as a hostess. This was in one of those high limit gambling rooms at the Atlantis uh, in Reno. So where did he get the money that he gambled with? Well, in the early 1990s, Paddock began investing in California real estate. Uh, he purchased a number of rental properties. And in 2014, this is according to the buyer that we reached out to, Paddock and his partner sold a Dallas apartment complex for more than $8 million. So he was a wealthy guy. That's how some of his friends describe him. Now, however interesting all these details are, they certainly don't add up to anything approaching the profile of a mass shooter, right? Um, we also know that 33 of the 47 weapons recovered from his hotel suite and his two Nevada homes, those were purchased since last October, but he never used any of them at the only shooting range within 20 miles of his home. Now, authorities say it doesn't appear that Paddock bought any of those firearms illegally. Investigators are continuing to examine his mental health history. The Las Vegas Review Journal reported today that back in June, a doctor prescribed Paddock the anti-anxiety medication Valium. Tucker? It's just it, it, all these potential leads that don't seem to add up to a coherent picture of a shooter. And apparently he underwent pretty dramatic weight loss recently, sometimes an indication of illness. Do we know anything about that? Is there, uh, does anyone suspect that perhaps he was physically ill? in addition to being mentally ill? In our reporting, no, we haven't heard more about that. And uh, Valium as a, as a prescription, that's pretty normal. So none of these particular details, are, are any of them are, are real red flags at the moment. And, and I have his girlfriend being interviewed. And yesterday, the authorities were saying, well, we're hoping that that will really clear things up for us. Well, apparently that hasn't. Apparently not. Jason Bellini, Wall Street Journal. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you.